Up a lazy river where the old mill ran Meets the lazy river in the noonday sun Linger in the shade of What's happening? Welcome to the channel. My name is Kevon the Golden and today everybody we will be watching The Boys Season 4 Episode 6. Last episode was very good. Crazy ride. Um, they were just stuck on a farm being surrounded by beat up animals and it was like a horror movie at some point during the episode. You had the classic the, the dumb people just randomly dying out of nowhere. They being stalked, ran down. <laughs> just classic stuff. I love that episode. Um, you also had Homelander in his own weird way trying to be a good father <laughs> to Ryan. But like I said last time, Homelander might just be taking a little tad bit overboard. I have no problem with him asking Ryan what are some of the things that you actually like, what are some of the things that you actually want to do in life. And I was happy to see that Ryan actually said he wants to save people, and that's a good characteristic to say that he's been around Homeland all this time. And he didn't say, I didn't want to go back and do it in no movie studio to face stuff. I actually want to save somebody for real. And he actually did that, helping out that poor um, assistant, I believe she was. Um, I think it was kind of hints that in the episode. That's why I just took it as that he was the guy, the producer. He was kind of sexually harassing her. And you can kind of tell he did something to her or made her very uncomfortable. Even she admitted he, he makes me very uncomfortable. Um, even the way that she was taking it so far as so slapping him, um, Ryan kept saying again and again. It came to a point he didn't have to say again. She just took it in her own hand and just kept slapping him to the scene, cut to the next scene. <laughs> you can probably almost hear the next scene, him still getting slapped. <laughs> but I like that. I kind of like that. Like, he's saving the weak and the innocent. That's what heroes do. No matter, sometimes you might have to pimp slap somebody to death. That's just life. <laughs> but we got Crazy Butcher. Crazy Butcher was still around. I thought Crazy Butcher was gone for a while. I thought he was dead. No. <laughs> Crazy Butcher has been here all along. He kidnapped Sahid, I think. And the guy that knows how to make the basically the poison and the toxic virus that kills all superheroes and i believe homeland i mean i believe butcher wants him to work keep working on that virus and to make it stronger to take out homeland the wishes let's be for real that's butcher's ultimate goal and don't he don't care who he loses he don't care who gets in the way he just wants to kill homeland at this point but I'm glad and I hope he don't drag Ryan down when the final battle or the final episode ever happened. I just hope Ryan don't get in the way like he did last time when they had Soldier Boy and they could have took the guy out. <sighs> but other than that, yeah, let's just start wasting time just going here and jump into this episode. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, go on here and subscribe to my Patreon. The link should be down in the description below. It's only $5, ladies and gentlemen, for full uncut content that I react to. $5. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, motherfucker. Ah! Now listen up, son. Wait, what? Wait minute, <laughs> I don't think Negan is real on this show. I think he is a hallucination of Bush's imagination. You just give us a list of what you need. The virus. You cut off my fucking leg. You saved me here for what? The virus. You did not hear that? Let me repeat it again. I cut off another leg now. You don't need a stand to make this virus. You don't give me that virus. Back to them in a fucking bucket. You don't do whatever the fuck we say. You got a week. 
I might get strong enough to talk on that. A week? <laughs> this could take months. A week. One week to do the job? <laughs> this is a heist time. movie. It's going to be a health school violation. We wanted. God, did you love me and then have Yeah, that movie sucks. So, Shaka? Miko? Our friend in French, he just turned himself in for a bunch of murders. Please don't get started on that idiot. I hate his plot this season. They killed this character cold blooded dead. He is the dumbest character on this show. Abortion is murder! Abortion is murder! Hey! Fuck off, asshole! Hey, stop, stop, please, please, please. He's such an asshole! Who is that? Folks, this way! That's not part of the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did not add that part. <laughs> I hate Frenchie. He was one of my favorite characters. Why did they turn him so dumb? He always said dumb jokes. I didn't think he was gonna do make dumb decisions. Cameron Coleman has taken a sabbatical, and I'm tickled to announce that I'm filling in as the evening news anchor. We got the so, female Alan Jones. Our Jewish space lasers. Yep, that's <laughs> Alan Jones. <laughs> Mrs. Maybe you should sit this out. You know, you just been through so much. You say you be getting your ass whooped and stuff, I'm Huey. Fine. No, you could just stay home sometimes. Well, this is exactly what I. Web Weaver? Who was Web Weaver? Spider Man, oh, I guess? Of this universe? Usually be. Unless there's another way I can pay. <laughs> he is on that Yo, mess, that smack. I'm, I'm pretty fucked up. We, we know, we see. I see with my own squad. Fuck you mean. Shoot it up, Vancouver, dog. Motherfucker, you done lost your mind. Right, Why do they always have no M.M. in these strange way. situations? M.M., why are you doing this? Oh, you want the info that bad? Oh, no! No! What is that? What the f*** is that? <laughs> It's a running gag at this point. He always around nasty people. There's the big man. The myth, the legend, the symbol of America. Mouth sauce on it. That's how you that's how you put glaze on there. That's how you apply it. Slither it on there. No, sir. It's humbling to see your commitment to America. Greatest country on earth. You were safe. You were safe. Can't you just smell the team up? You know. I say I might need you for the moment. But let's get one thing straight. There's no team up. We're not equals. You're <laughs> pathetic. Can't I'm using you. Come on. <laughs> so you are all little peons of mine. <laughs> no. Okay, now actually look fine tomorrow. No. Tech Knight invited me. We go way back. How deep? <laughs> this is real money. Eleven generations money. The oh. Vernon family started out as slave catchers. You look directly at a chain any other company in the US of A. I catch owls, rehab criminals. And then I catch them all over again. <laughs> you know, I've been Still a slave you know, catcher. Huh? Great great granddaddy run for his money. Oh uh, my what type of conversation is this? Ooh. Huey? Homeland is gonna smell you. <laughs> <laughs> You promised. <laughs> Where we go? Last night's expecting you. He'll be thrilled. What business do we have yeah. with we yeah. So, if tonight goes well, it's yours. Oh, uh, well, well, great. Mm -hmm. Um, that's great. Well, you know, I've never been to a, an estate before. Um, mm -hmm. this is a uh, <laughs> this is a Hollywood party, huh? <laughs> you hear about San Diego? No, what about him? Well, apparently, he got released from prison. Released or escaped? Details sketchy as to why. How? He can't hurt us. Oh, yes, he can. He knows info that nobody knows. I don't do this for just anybody, but, um... You want to see the tech cave? The tech cave? Uh, no, don't go to the tech cave. Uh, fuck yeah, dog. 
there's some weird energy going on here, man. <laughs> Whoa, that's a, that's a, that's a different type of cave and dungeon here. What is that? Tech cave. Cool, cool. Why is it so filthy? Uh, you met Elijah. Really? Elijah, what the hell? There's nothing greater than a father's guiding hand. Uh, it's so nasty. I get some freaky every episode. Jesus. We gotta pull him out. No, no, go. Just, just hold on. Y'all need to go in there now. Uh, That's a gift. Who is that? It's my last sidekick. Wait, what? I don't like liars. Some creepy stuff going on down here. You're agitated? Oh, I'm fine. I get it. That's Black North? You're supposed to follow some stupid Black Ninja bullshit, which makes no goddamn sense, by the way. You ever meet a Black Ninja? Oh, your voice is no You idea. talk too much. The you role is not talking. See, what you're not getting is how horny killing made the old noir. That was his whole thing. But I don't really like... This is violence. so dark. This is hard to imagine, but some people laugh at me. It's crazy, right? Yeah, that's but you know what that's insane. <laughs> when I the guy who the post you, <laughs> they violence is power. He is a bad influence. Oh, something is wrong. Something is really, really wrong. Between. Yes, go save Huey now. <laughs> Gang of how the thing to go with it. What, what is that? Knockout gas? Oh, what are you throwing up? This is a beaten down man. Actually, we know if the rape is legitimate, the woman's body has a way to reject that pregnancy. A nationwide ban what? on abortion is just good policy. What the, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Great party, huh? Y'all see all the free shrimp they got? Firecracker. Oh, it's you. Conversation. You real low budget, sure huh? The bar has some sunny. Huey, what, 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 what's, what's going on with Huey? It's your favorite. It's German chocolate. For the texture against the bare cheeks, right? <laughs> what did you get yourself? What type of job is this? <laughs> I think you've been got revenge for your girlfriend. Like, what's the point now? <laughs> Hell no. Yeah. This. What is going on? <laughs> this is flat out porn at this point. <laughs> Fart. Yeah, this is porn. This is porn at this point. That's <laughs> okay. I don't really, I don't really have. To. You can't fart. You can't get it up to fart. Uh, this was so bad. Hot. Oh, you started without me. Oh no! no, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Right, just in time. Oh, I know you had a freak out for a reason. They invited the real person. Everywhere I looked, I saw the faces, the ruined faces of those men that you and me tortured and killed. Oh, that's so dark. See, I just I couldn't. The real me. The real me likes to hear him scream. Oh, he is such a bad influence on Butcher. <laughs> you gotta get darker, Butcher. You may have to start playing this man alive. Oh, no, not this dark. Not this dark. I don't know what type of dark you be doing. I'm gonna sit my swollen clit on your stupid masked face and piss like a skunk. Hey, oh. Yes. I said you want that. So save yes. from starlight. <laughs> this is a flick. Bite your dick off and cook it. I am 100% a cannibal. Oh, no. why you ate people before? I'm gonna feel your pink asshole around my wrist and <laughs> shit. Spiderweb. Oh my God! What is going on? I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> night, night. Oh, oh save him! No! Oh, the things, the things he would do for the boys. 
Oh. Oh. I don't know. I'm getting in shell most of this shit. Like. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. You're trembling. Mm-mm. Your body's riddled by horripilation. I know you. You're Huey Campbell. Oh. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, you were, hey, you were my favorite hero as a kid. Sometimes you just gotta make your own. And fuck it. And then fuck them. <laughs> Besides OCD, you see that, right? Said, shut up. You curse the poor girl. No. Is she dead? Did he murder her? <laughs> she having a heart attack. MM, no, 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 MM, no. Oh, fuck no. I'm not taking him. We ain't got a lot of time. You need to start talking about it. <laughs> Save Huey! I want you to keep fighting. No! Thank you, thank you. Save him! I'm tired! Get this shit off him! Get this shit off him! Now you're a hero. I once ate a whole bag of candy corn. In my mouth. I ate that. They make her a toddler? What happened to you? Brain damage. Right now. She's been shot in the head. How is she standing? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Singer. Well, fuck it, we'll do it live. This nation. How are you gonna guarantee our oil reserves? Of course, there is gonna be some birth pains. Shot to the markets would be total. And what happens if civil servants resign? Oh, oh he is not made for this. Respect, sir, I, I think you got to. This, this is a man, you're a conqueror. You're not a, a united. And, uh, <laughs> He's handling all this? Me. But the founders never trusted the masses because the truth is the masses are fucking stupid. <laughs> Anyone who wants to live, laugh, love, be able to operate without any regulation or restriction whatsoever. After all, you're billionaires. You are smart enough to know what's best. Bottom line, you support me and that is what you'll fucking get. The speech, that gets out of well. <laughs> Sister Sage is out of there. Ah, yeah. Oh, I've dreamt of having you down here to humiliate. You're gonna see what some real torture look like. You're even gonna get some good back. A freak! Oh, come on, squeeze him. Lonio, get help, boy! He said, I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna get some good back myself. It's all of his bank accounts. Just needs a retinal scan. Wait, what are you doing? No, no, no. Keep that eye open. No, 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 Try that eye open, no, boy, no, when we take no. it. I still might take that eye. Get me the one. And 65 million to the Innocence Project. Lord, you skunk <laughs> pussy bitch. I can make you. 100 million to Black Lives Matter. Oh, yeah. People, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Really? What deal? The Black Lives Matter made you talk. Oh, Andrew and Sage, they, they need places across the country to put their dissidents. He's talking about internment camps. Hey! Stop! What are you doing? 
Now! I raised this entitled piece of shit from a little boy. Mm, take him out. Go. No. Well, make it look like an accident. He always admired David Carradine. Thank you. Even his own crew turned on him. The safe word. It was Zendaya. Zendaya? Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Starlight was the mansion. What? Snitch that fast. Huh? So how do I know that you're not the leak? Oh. I'm the fucking anchor at VNN. With millions of How did you get that job? <laughs> oh, I was not even wrong. I am not sexually attracted to you. What's in about sex? This. This about loyalty. What, what she finna do? <gasps> oh, she found this kink. You're not pregnant. There's a, a long regimen of drugs a person can take to make it happen. It enlarges the heart just a tiny little bit. Uh, what? <laughs> Just a tiny little bit? How many times you finna be taking this now? Oh, what is this? Oh, you're getting it straight from the tip. Fresh product right there. Ashley rubbed one out while she tickled my feet. You got she violated. Thanks. Give that man a hug, man. man. He got violated. This is bad. This might be happening. Oh, you. I'm so sorry. He got tortured right after losing his father. Well, look at here. Christmas came oh, early. Oh, no. One dose. Strong enough to top home ladder. And then you can go back to what's the name. And you don't go to see me no more. One dose. Yeah. To make the virus strong enough to kill Homelander would evolve into something unstable. What do you mean unstable? Airborne, highly contagious, super lethal. No one with compound V in their bloodstream would be safe. We're talking about killing every soup on Earth. I got a dad then. This info <laughs> did not help you out even better. <laughs> These men who just gave us a silver bullet, we can wipe them all out. Along with this. Negan ain't that at all, this. I know you. Shut your fucking cake hole, bitch! Oh, that's Negan. You can see her. Yes. You are going insane. The fuck's that? The real Joe Kessler. He's dead in the Pangeer Valley, motherfucker. You never dragged me out. You left me to die. Oh, oh my! Man, what the hell? hell? I fucking remember that. Unless, of course, you got a big old fat beat up brain tumor, you cunt, which is why you are seeing me in the first place. Killed Ezekiel for you. Is he always going to tell the truth? She ain't been telling the truth like I that. I am you. Which is why when I tell you you want to do this, I am literally telling you that you fucking want to do this. So don't you worry, Billy, my boy. That is home. <laughs> Negan is a cold-hearted bastard. What's gonna be your choice, Butchie? I feel so bad <laughs> for Huey this episode, man. Um, him just losing his father in the first place, the last episode, which was an amazing ep um, performance by his father, Simon Pegg. Um, that was probably one of his most emotional performances I ever seen him give. Like bravo to him. He 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 should be getting some awards for that performance right there. That was um uh, really heartbreaking and after dealing with all that chaos and losing your father in that type of way, it's like you lose him once, he comes back off temp V and well, you think you're about to lose him, but he kind of gets back healthy. He comes back off Temp V and murders at least four people that we, three or four people that we've seen. 
I don't know how many other people he murdered running through that hospital. Look like he had some gunshot wounds and his nightgown and things like that, some blood coming from it, but who knows? But yeah, his father killed a lot of people and after that he had to put his father down. Like that's a real emotional event for a person to go through and then jump right back to going to work. You need a little time off from something like that. Especially when work is almost involved in kind of the same violent chaos that you lost your father in from soups and things like that. His father was V'd up at the end, became a soup, if you want to put it like that. But yeah, you have to go right back to work dealing with people like that and getting tortured by people like that. So yeah, I really feel sad for Huey this episode. Um, I'm glad that Andy was there for him. He expressed how he was feeling towards the end. We all need that sometimes. And I really hate that. It seems like M.M. always expresses itself in this feeling. I mean, like nobody cares. Nobody gives a damn what M.M. thinks. And he's the leader of this group. And I just wish M.M. can get his life together and just finally win this war. I feel like when this war is over with, M.M. will get more healthier. Maybe he can learn how to, I don't know if you can get rid of OCD, but at least learn how to manage it in his own way. At least do something like that when he has less stress on him from this job. This is a very stressful job. That's what he's saying from Huey this episode. So, I don't know, man. I just don't know. And we've seen kind of hints of Kamiko trying to visit Frenchie and I don't know if I hinted on it or talked about it enough in the last episode, but this is the most stupid plot line that the boys has ever put on here. Okay. Yes. You find out that the guy you're fooling with, you killed his whole family. I feel like you might not be normal after killing somebody's whole family, but anybody with common sense would say, let me leave this guy alone completely. Just cut him off wherever he's at. I'm not going to be at. I'm just going to get away from this guy. Give him his personal space. Frenchie, you kept being involved with the guy. You kept trying to almost build a relationship type thing with this guy. After you found out you killed this family, it made no sense. It was just stupid. It was just Horrible decision after horrible decision. And now he's made another horrible decision turning himself in. I don't think he's gonna get out of this. Maybe this is maybe this is his last season on the show because he just admitted to a murder. Unless this CIA ties is gonna get him out of jail, he is basically gonna be in there for almost the rest of his life depending on how many people he's killed and he killed the, a judge so i don't know i really don't know i just hate his whole storyline um it's just so weird it just came out of nowhere you, you just expect us to expect me just to care about it but i don't I don't care. It just made me hate Frenchie for being a dumb, stupid person. It, it's like you kind of deserve this for continually be with this guy after murdering, after finding out you murdered his family. Like, this is harassment at this point. Like, what is you doing, Frenchie? <laughs> this is not the fun, loving, funny, smart guy that can make inventions and cook up all type of poisons and knockout gas that can eliminate superheroes and things like that and make weapons. This is not that guy. I don't know who this character is at this point. But hopefully, I don't know. I, I don't even hope nothing for the storyline. I don't care. Maybe they could just wrap it up soon. <laughs> And sister say she got shot in the head and still 
was a survive. I don't know if she's going to go back to 100% of being smart, but we also seen the deep give her a lobotomy or something like that, stick that, that needle type thing all the way in the back of her eye into her brain. So maybe her brain can take punishment and maybe it just takes a long time. Not a long time, but it takes like a couple of hours at least to get back some of that smartness and memory and things like that. But that's understandable. Um, this party did not really go well for Homeland. The only thing that went well for him is finding somebody new that he can drink their titty milk. <laughs> so <laughs> bravo for him, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, this is a real dark episode. I don't know how much I can show on YouTube. If this is a short reaction. You'll know why. But thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to like and subscribe. And also remember to subscribe to my Patreon. It is only $5, ladies and gentlemen. You can see four uncut reactions. If you want to see the four uncut reactions of this, subscribe to my Patreon. Up the lazy river with a robin song. Wait till bright new morning, we can loaf along.